Hi guys, Trisha here. Today I'm gonna plant my dahlias. I've got uh, Dahlia Crazy Love, which is this one right here. And then I've got Dahlia Molina Flower, which is this one right here. Um, I'm gonna plant them about 12 inches apart. Um, the height on those, on this uh, Molina Flower, um, gets between 32 and 40 inches high. And then this crazy love here says that it gets between 24 and 28 inches high. So I think I'm going to do every other one. I'm going to pawn them over here. I was going to put some blueberries and raspberries and stuff in here, but I think I'm going to do that next year. Um, I think I'm going to do my whole cut flower garden here. I think it would look really nice and then I can do my flower arrangements. So. Um, yeah, I will show you a quick video of when I took the, after, two weeks after I planted the tubers, and then I'll go ahead and start planting. This is about two weeks after planting the tubers in these pots. I got the, the Dahlia Crazy Love. That's those four there. It comes with three, but there was just a little straggler in there that I thought I'd try and that's this one and I don't think anything's coming up I see something in each of these coming up so happy about that and then these three back there are Molina flower dahlias um, I see two coming up there and nothing in that one I kind of dug around in those a little bit to see if I could see something and I don't so I don't think that one's coming up either and that one is Molina flower and that is just my favorite. Those are my favorite colors. So I'm pretty excited about those um, I'll be planting those in the ground and I will do a video on that And show you guys how that turns out He has fresh soil. I'm just gonna add some plant tone in each of these. I'm excited to see how the root balls look in here. Let's see how big they've gotten. Oh, you can see them. Awesome. definitely ready to plant. I just have so many projects I'm just trying to get them all planted into bigger pots if I can't get to them. And this one here, it looked just like this. Um, but I had clipped it too soon. I think you clip them bushier and wider this way and it ended up Going into shock and died. So I just left it alone And you can see that some of the other sprouts decided to come up so that was a good Oh yeah, That's not held together very well with soil so Okay. 
Okay, so I'm done planting my dahlias. I'll go ahead and show you those. Um, pardon the lawnmowers. I mean, there's hardly any time to get out here and plant lately because everyone's doing their yard work. So hopefully you can hear me. Okay, so I've got all of my dahlias planted up here. Um, I've got this little rose bush that I had in a shady spot, so I transplanted that. And I'm glad I did because you can see all this new growth coming up and it was not doing that before. So that has really big, beautiful pink flowers on it. So that'll be really nice to have there. Um, I'm gonna still, Brox, watch out. I'm still gonna do my raspberries and blueberries here and then I'll probably do a front row of um, strawberries. And then I've got, watch out Roxy. She's got to be in every single video, I swear. So I've got these rocks here. Hey, get out of there. Get. Get. My cats just barely came outside, <laughs> and I'm worried they're going to think that this is their litter box. This is Binksy. He's our little kitty. And then we have another one named Denver super cute they wanted to come out so bad and we just barely started letting them come out and they've been coming in and out of the dog door they're so smart anyway so strawberries there oh sorry that's not where i was so i'm gonna take this wood out here and put these and then i'll just do a thin thin block of the concrete or whatever that is on top so there will be a nice transition um, and then I'm going to bring in some new gravel here and make this look a little bit nicer too. Um, and then I need to address that shepherd's hook there and get all this other stuff planted. So, yeah, anyway, all right, well, that's all for today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a good day.